Now we come to understanding Babylon. Because tonight I'm going to speak about the agenda. Of the Antichrist. To destroy the whole world. The influence. That they have in finances. Bible says now the whole earth had one language from verse 1 and one speech and it came to pass as they journeyed to the east that they found a plain in the land of China and they dwelt there and they said to one another come let us make bricks and bake them uh, thoroughly they had brick for stone and they had asphalt for mortar and they said come let us build ourselves a city and a tower whose top is in the heavens let us make a name for ourselves. Let, lest we be scattered abroad over the face of the whole earth. But the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the sons of men had built. And the Lord said, Indeed, the people are one and they all have one language. And this is what they begin to do. Now nothing they purpose to do will be withheld from them. Come, let us go down and there confuse their language. I'm not going to, to dwell in, in my much on that. This book of Genesis, we read about certain men who took upon themselves to build a tower in the city of Babel. To reach God in heaven. Now, today, the Babylonian syndrome has metamorphosed into what is frequently referred to as Babylon, a kingdom sought among those that serve the aspirations of Lucifer. Every time you hear about the word Babylon, you must understand that is a kingdom that seeks to serve the aspirations of Lucifer. What really is Babylon? We are confronted with such terms in our days as New Age movements. New World Order. New World Order. Which already has affected the church. And the of Christ. These organizations. They are said to be allied to with a strong spiritual power of witchcraft and occult mysticism. The book of Genesis chapter 10, 10. Genesis chapter 10 and the beginning 10. of his kingdom was Babel, Erech, Akkad, which is, it speaks about the a, 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 a Nimrod. If you read, you're going to read, the, let me read from verse 6. The Bible says, the sons of Ham were Cush, Mizraim, Put, and Canaan. Sons of Cush were Seba, Havila, Sabta, Rama, Sabtika, whatever. And the sons of Rama were Sheba and Dedan. Cush begot Nimrod. He began to be a mighty one on the earth. He was a mighty hunter before the Lord. Therefore, it is said, like Nimrod, the mighty hunter before the Lord. And the beginning of his kingdom was Babel. That's what I, I want to stress. The beginning of his kingdom was but, so, so, a little bit about this Nimrod. So, Babylon divide. Babylon means the gate of gods. Write it down. From the root Babel, which means confusion. Now, it was founded by Nimrod. Is no Nimrod. That's why you get the Nimrod. That's the point that I wanted to come. Founded by Nimrod. Is the son of Cush. 
in Genesis as I've read it. It was physically located on the Euphrates River in the present day Iraq. That's where Babel was. So who is Nimrod? Nimrod was a mighty warrior and hunter of animals. Not only he was hunting animals. He was also hunting men to enslave them. That was Nimrod. He was bold. He was violent. And he was a clever man. He was a great charismatic leader. Now his ends... I said, you must be very careful. You must listen to me. Or you, in fact, you are also going to be getting the tapes. His aims was to build a kingdom for himself. Just because we live during this era does not necessarily mean that the agenda of the devil has just started in this year. It started long time ago. That is why history is very important. He wanted to build a kingdom for himself. Number two, to defy God. Drawing out a man away from God to, to himself. That was his aim. It was his original agenda that continued throughout the generation. And I'm going to make you to understand that the agenda is continuing. Why do you talk about Babylon? I talk about Babylon because it is also involved with prosperity. Now his mode of operation he persuaded men not to ascribe their happiness to God, but to himself. His belief, of which we are going to understand, he believed in centralized government. One world government. United Nations, United Nations. Is it the plan of God? Nope. I can't. <laughs> One world government will only come. That is the one Christ Any man who tried to organize one world government <laughs> is pushing the agenda of Lucifer. <laughs> Which was with Nimrod. And God spoke to me that we need to educate the church now. So that we do not become the victims of the Antichrist triple six. Which is at your doorstep now. There's a chip that is going to be introduced now. Take everything. Your license will be there. Your ID will be there. Your bank, what you are The space that it has. It can accommodate everything. Your banks, your whatever. Everything. It is going to come in the form of a card. But later, that chip will be placed. Lord Chief, in your forehead. Why are you saying that, Pastor? It is written in the book. And also, it has been discussed in America that children, when they are born, 
so that they do not get lost came at their birth they must put a chip of identification why are you saying this pastor are you teaching us this because the spirit of antichrist is at work now by the time you are to pull out you will be deeply involved 